To prepare your canvas and materials for pepper and salt art, you will need the following items. A canvas of any size and shape. You can use a pre-stretched canvas or stretch your own on a wooden frame. Acrylic paint in various colors. You can use any brand or type of acrylic paint, but make sure it is not too thick or too thin. You want the consistency that is easy to spread and blend on the canvas. A palette knife or a spatula. You will use this tool to apply and mix the paint on the canvas. You can also use a brush if you prefer, but a palette knife gives you more control and texture. Salt and pepper. You can use any kind of salt and pepper, but coarse salt and black pepper work best for creating contrast and texture. You will need enough salt and pepper to cover the entire canvas surface. A spray bottle filled with water. You will use this to moisten the canvas before applying the paint and to create interesting effects with the salt and pepper. To prepare your canvas, follow these steps. Lay your canvas flat on a table or on the floor. Make sure you have enough space to work and that the surface is clean and dry. Spray some water on the canvas using the spray bottle. You don't want to soak the canvas, just make it slightly damp. This will help the paint adhere better and create a smoother base. Choose one or two colors of acrylic paint to use as your background. You can use any colors you like, but try to pick ones that contrast well with the salt and pepper. For example, you can use dark blue and purple for a night sky effect, or yellow and orange for a sunset effect. Use the palette knife or spatula to scoop some paint and spread it on the canvas. Start from one corner and work your way across the canvas, blending the colors as you go. You can also use a brush to create strokes or swirls if you want. Don't worry about covering every inch of the canvas, you can leave some white spaces for more interest. While the paint is still wet, sprinkle some salt and pepper on top of it. You can use your fingers or a spoon to do this, or you can shake the containers directly over the canvas. Be generous with the salt and pepper, but don't cover the entire paint layer. You want to create some contrast and texture with the white and black specks. Let the paint dry completely before moving on to the next step. This may take a few hours or overnight depending on the thickness of the paint and the humidity of your environment. You have now prepared your canvas and materials for pepper and salt art. In the next section, we will show you how to create different shapes and patterns with this technique. Now that you have prepared your canvas and your salt and pepper, it's time to create some amazing patterns and effects with them. Salt and pepper art is a fun and easy way to add texture and contrast to your paintings. You can use them to create abstract shapes, realistic details, or anything in between. Here are some tips and tricks to help you get started. To create a gradient effect, sprinkle salt or pepper on wet paint and let it dry. The salt or pepper will absorb some of the paint and create lighter areas. You can use different colors of paint and different sizes of salt or pepper to create different effects. For example, you can use coarse salt and dark paint to create a starry sky, or fine pepper and light paint to create a sandy beach. To create a splatter effect, dip a brush in water and then in salt or pepper. Flick the brush over the canvas to create random dots of salt or pepper. You can also use a toothbrush or a straw to create finer splatters. This technique is great for adding some interest and movement to your background or foreground. For example, you can use salt splatters to create snowflakes, or pepper splatters to create raindrops. To create a stencil effect, cut out a shape from paper or cardboard and place it on the canvas. Sprinkle salt or pepper over the shape and remove the stencil carefully. The salt or pepper will create an outline of the shape on the canvas. You can also use multiple stencils to create layers of shapes. This technique is great for creating geometric patterns or silhouettes. For example, you can use a circle stencil and salt to create a moon, or a heart stencil and pepper to create a love message. To create a stamp effect, dip an object in paint and press it on the canvas. Then sprinkle salt or pepper over the paint before it dries. The salt or pepper will stick to the paint and create a textured impression of the object. 
You can use any object that has an interesting shape or texture, such as leaves, flowers, coins, buttons, etc. This technique is great for creating organic patterns or details. For example, you can use a leaf stamp and pepper to create a tree branch, or a flower stamp and salt to create a bouquet. These are just some of the ways you can use salt and pepper to create amazing art on canvas. You can experiment with different combinations of colors, shapes, and textures to create your own unique style. Remember to have fun and enjoy the process.